uh, when when he gave the the white cloth to the the younger uh, monk, yeah, that was for him personally. Anybody else that would try to do that, it wouldn't mean anything to them. So that would that would be that kind of an instance. Yes, we call it that. Yeah, popularity. Yeah. Uh, he and his older brother ordained at the same time. His older brother became an arahat very quickly. And he decided he was going to teach his younger brother the Dhamma, the discourses. And the younger brother had no memory. He would work and he would get one line and he'd finally get it right and then they would go to the next line and it would drive that line out of his head so he couldn't he, he just couldn't do it and after a, a few months of this yeah the older brother said you might as well disrobe you might as well uh, get out of the order you you don't have a memory you can't you can't teach So he went off by himself and he started crying. And the Buddha saw him and said, What's the matter, monk? And he said, He told him what his older brother had said and that he had to disrobe. And the Buddha gave him a quite white piece of cloth. And he said, I want you to rub this piece of cloth and say something. I care, purity or something like that. Yeah, pure cloth, pure cloth, pure cloth. And over a period of time of his doing that, it got dirty. And as soon as he saw that, he saw impermanence and uh, the impersonal nature of everything and became an arahat. Now, the reason that that happened was for the 500 lifetimes before he was in that lifetime he was a goldsmith and he was working with the purest kind of gold all the time and the slightest little defect would bother him so when he gave him this white piece of cloth and he started rubbing it and saw that defect that was coming off his body he got repulsed by it and it balanced his mind he became an arahat now what happened was that particular day all of the monks in the monastery were invited to somebody's house. They wanted all arahats, I think, at the house. And they arrive at the house and the Buddha looks around and says, well, where's this monk? Say, He's not an arahat. He said, no, no, you have to go get him. So they send somebody back to the monastery to get him, and he had developed the power of having one body he could have many, and he turned into a thousand monks, and he was sweeping all the different places out in the monastery and cleaning up and doing all of that. And the guy that was coming to get him went back and he said, the monastery is full, there's a thousand monks there. How am I supposed to know which one I'm supposed to talk to? And the Buddha said, well, just grab a hold of one of them and he'll be the right one. And he comes back and he grabs a hold of one of the monks and all the other monks disappeared and it was the right one. And then he invited him to come to dinner as an arahat. That was his first meal. So that was real special merit for whoever gave that dana.